Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, in this question, we have an optimization question and it's asking us to find the dimension of the isosceles triangle to maximize its um, area, surface area, and the perimeter of this triangle is equal to 18 centimeters. So let's do it. Okay, so first thing first, let's draw a picture. The picture that we have says that, the question says that it's an isosceles triangle, so these sides are going to be equal. Let's call those x's, and we have the height of this triangle, which I'm going to call h, and I have the base, which I'm going to call b. Now, the first thing first is to find out what am I maximizing. I'm maximizing the area of this triangle. So let's write an equation for area. Area of the triangle is equal to half of base times the height. Now in order to be able to take the derivative of this equation, I need to write this area uh, in terms of only one variable. So I can take the derivative of it and maxim find the maximum for the function. So um, in order to do that, I need to write either b in terms of h or h in terms of b. So let's see what we can do. Now when I look at the picture, how can I actually relate b and h? Um, I can relate, so I know if this is an isosceles triangle, the height is going to hit the base at in the middle. So this part that I'm going to draw in yellow is going to be b over 2. And this is h and this is x and I also know the perimeter of my triangle is equal to 18 so I can right away write a relationship for that so the perimeter is 2x plus b equals 18 therefore I can write my b as 18 minus 2x so I wrote b in terms of x but not in terms of h now if I could write h in terms of x as well my whole area function is going to be in terms of x and um, I can start taking the derivative now if I looked at this as a right angle triangle which it is um, I can actually relate this part um, using the Pythagorean theory relate h x and b together now since b is 18 minus 2x the, and this is half of b, this part that I'm marking in yellow can be uh, whatever b is divided by 2 and that can be in terms of x. So if I write it as 9 minus x, that's exactly what I have here. All I did was that I did 18 minus 2x divided by 2, so I divided 18 by 2, 9, ne negative 2x by 2, which is x. Good? All right, so now I have this in terms of x. All I need to do is to write h in terms of dx, which is easy. So x squared, which is the hypotenuse squared, equals to h squared plus 9 minus x squared right now in order to rewrite h in terms of x which is my goal I can write h squared equal x squared minus 9 minus x squared then I can maybe hopefully expand what's in here and write x squared so this would be 81 minus 18x plus x squared and if I multiply a negative I will have negative x squared plus 18x minus 81 these two will cancel out and h will just be square root of 18x minus 81 Okay, great. Now that we have that, we can just plug that back into our area equation. So I will have that. And now since half of b is just 9 minus x, I can just write 9 minus x because we need that in terms of x. And then h is just 18x minus 81 to the power of a half. Okay, looks like we are all set. All we need to do is to take the derivative and put it equal to zero. So that's the plan. 
So the derivative is going to be equal to the derivative, uh, sorry, the derivative of the first one, which is this, and then it's minus one, times the second one, plus the derivative of the second one times the first one. So the first one remains, and the derivative of the second one would just be half of 18x minus 81, half minus a one, uh, uh, 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus a half times the derivative of what's inside which is 18 now what I have here can be actually simplified a little bit um, I have a negative uh, sorry I have a 1 over 2 here can be canceled out with this and that's pretty much it I can actually make this a little cleaner to make it more visible to you so right now what I would like to do is to take common denominator since this isn't a denominator um, I can mix it the one last thing I want to do is to expand at this point because we want to just simplify everything so I will have negative a 1 or I will have minus 1 times 18x minus 81 and then here I have plus 9 times 9 minus x over square root of 18x minus 81 and to take the common denominator it would be 18x minus 81 so on the top if I multiply that by itself I will just have minus 18x plus 81 and I multiplied the negative into it as well after I um, multiplied it by itself and then plus and then I can actually expand this now hoping to cancel out and add it to the first sentence so 9 times 9 is 81 plus 81 minus 9x okay um, as you can see 81 and 81 will add up to 162 so I will write this as and 9 and 18 is 27 so negative 27 X plus 162 over 18 X minus 81 Okay, so once that's done, um, what we need to do is to put that equal to zero and solve for the dimensions. So let's go to the other page. My derivative again was negative 27x plus 162 over, I'm pretty sure it was 18x minus 81. So I put this equal to zero. When a fraction is equal to zero, the numerator should only be equal to zero. So I have negative 27x equals negative 62 and x equals 162 over 27, which is 6. So x is equal to 6. So when I had the triangle here and x was the sides here, so this is 6 and this is 6. So what would be the base? Now if I went back if I went back to the question here and wanted to just plug in everything for the base, I would have uh, my relationship as b equals 18 minus 2x. So plugging in 6, I will have 18 minus 2 times 6, which is 12. And 18 minus 12 would be equal to 6 as well so it would actually to maximize the area I should have an equilateral triangle with a side six all right thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment them down below thank